not the PC revolution, not the PC era, but the era of personal computing. Now, in this particular area, you have devices of all kinds to help make your lives a little bit richer. It could be a PC. My first digital device was a BlackBerry. Now I use it 99.9% .9 of the time. Some people's are iPod, some people are PSP, some people use an iPhone. They all use it for a specific reason. These devices were created with a few characteristics uh, in common. One, they all do what we all did prior more conveniently. In the case of the BlackBerry, the reason why it's such a great tool for me is because I do so much email. I create so much text, I have to receive so much content from people, and it's just vital to me to have email be more uh, convenient. It simply doesn't last long enough for us to feel comfortable about taking it everywhere. Not the least, in my case, I've got my life data, my life digital data on my laptop. I'm, I'm more, I would be happier to lose my wallet. I'm happier to lose my wallet and have them abuse it however they like um, than to lose my notebook any day of the week. And so this is something that's just simply too precious to want to take them around. You certainly don't want to break it. You certainly don't want to lose it. And so we need another idea. We need a solution that gives us the um, portability and the accessibility and the convenience of a smartphone, but the resolution and power and performance and full web compatibility that I can go to any website and it just works of a PC. However, this having the performance of a PC and the portability and mobility of a, of a smartphone um, has been a daunting, daunting challenge to achieve, as you can imagine why. The performance makes it heavy, the performance makes it high, and the performance makes it expensive. It's going to be the beginning of the tablet revolution. Here's an example of a tablet. I'm going to show you plenty of it in action here. Big ones, small ones, ones that are designed for living rooms, ones that are designed for your purse, ones that are designed for your bed stand. There are going to be tablets of every form and kind coming. This is a chip that has um, consumed 500 engineers, the greatest achievement undertaking of building a computer inside NVIDIA since our founding. This processor is nothing short of a miracle to us. And every time we use it, and every time we experience it, we still can't believe it. We can't wait to show it to you here in just a moment. Tegra has eight independent processors. It is the world's first dual core Cortex-A9 CPU. My netbook doesn't have dual core yet. My netbook doesn't have dual core yet, and our tablet is about to get dual core. So you have a dual core CPU. It's about 10 times the performance of your average smartphone. And that 10 times the performance is going to be all necessary to drive resolutions that are anywhere from four to eight times higher. And it still sips power like a mobile chip about 20 times less power than that of a PC. So the Tegra, this amazing chip, is going to allow us to deliver the experience of a PC, however, achieving that with very, very, very little power, so that you could have the portability and the battery life that goes along with it. But very importantly, when you consume very little power, you can make the industrial design exquisite. And there are some exquisite industrial designs that are being developed here, and hopefully you get to see something today. Tegra processor, Tegra computer, including its memory, and on the back side of it, on the back side of it are the flash memories. This requires no power management, no key pipes, no fans, 
no ventilation, just electricity. Manager of the Tegra Business Unit. <laughs> Hey, let's see, what do I have here? So you've got an ICD tablet. All right, so this one looks like the one that um, uh, Verizon and, and Motorola are using to demonstrate um, 4G. Absolutely, we're doing it just this week in the show. Wow, okay. Well, let me see what it can do. So let's see. Let me, uh, you guys can all see that. So this is a, this is a tablet, and this is the home page. And um, let me just uh, launch a browser. Did I touch it? There you go. Let me uh, launch a browser. <laughs> browser. Integra. So one of the things you're going to want to do, obviously, is to read your books, right? You're watching your movies, you're surfing the web, you want to go off and, uh, and read the book. So you can do it on this device. Then also, if you've got some ambient light and you want even longer battery life, then what you do is you push a button here, and it basically turns into an electric ink kind of a, a technology. I see, so this display is doing both, both front lit and back lit. Exactly. So what that says is now I'm less than two tenths of a watt reading, so you can read, you know, every book you've ever owned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and then uh, and then finally, what we've got is the ability to go off and do a true movie quality graphics and games. Uh, and that's going to be the big challenge for all of us in the hardware and the software spaces. But it's clear that from here on, mobile and, and mainstream you know, PC devices will go in lockstep and we'll get there together at the same time. That's terrific. Well, we've partnered for 16 years in the PC industry. I look forward to partnering with you for another 16 years now in the mobile industry. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you very much, Tim. Thanks for coming. And have a more productive working environment. Okay. We're, our hope is that this little kit which is very affordable, will allow people to, to develop crazy types of programs from, from everywhere. This will be the new Heath kit of the 21st century. Very smart. Three-year-olds, four-year-olds, writing little Android apps, <laughs> making a fortune, <laughs> selling them two cents at a time. Two cents at a time. <laughs>